go into that uh, final match now. On the left, there is Danny Weissman, and wait till you hear his fans cheer. Here is Don Mosier, who won the last game. Frank Robinson picks Don Mosier, Chris. All right. Final game. Frank likes experience. He has that one victory under his belt here, and he left the 6-10. Well, give Frank a little statistics, which I'm armed with, and he is, and after seven weeks, the tournament leader, being Danny Weissman in this case, has only lost one time, Frank. So you went against the odds, but good luck. It should be an exciting match. Thanks for coming by. Now over in the left lane, still cross lane for the 6-10. You hear that ball rumbling over the thumb hole. It's uh, basically what the pro bowlers call a kill shot. You want to keep your wrist underneath the ball for the strike on a strike shot, and you want to break it down to kill the roll and control it on the spare shot. Now here's first time ever on television, local favorite Danny Weissman. Oh, these Baltimore fans are backing their Local product, and why not? Here's his form. Major changes in his game. He has his arm swing in good position. See, he rolls behind his back, then it's inside out, right by his right hip and left leg as he comes through. That was absolutely perfect. You don't want that swing as any golfers go over the top or bowlers bounce away from their side. You want it inside out. Excellent. Danny Weissman, his first shot. It's from the Parkville section of Baltimore, his first full season. He's only 22 years old. Tell you, he just saws that five out, Chris. 22 years old, where do they find him just week after week? Getting tough out here. And Don Mosier. So he left the two pin. This is our championship match worth 28,000 to the winner. The runner up, 14,005. Moser from San Jose, California, uh, was an outstanding water polo player was the most valuable player in his high school in San Jose as you see his ball sliding by the head pin leaving a two pin remember it's been hard to get over to the left side he has to go straight at the two he won't give it any room good shot there no sir mm -hmm. right straight by it see how slick the center of the lane is Chris and mm -hmm. that's the reason the players are playing that at extreme outside line look at look at the ball trying to bite trying to bite we know a bowling ball will slide and try to bite in the in the oil or lubrication in the center of the lane. This ball never, hardly ever bites the lane surface, just misses by a fraction of an inch. Once again, that's a, a spare that Bozer has missed. He missed the seven pin in his first match. But as unsettling as the miss was, comes back with perfection in the third frame. Danny Weissman, the Baltimore of the years, two regional titles, the first three rounds and then again at the end of six to make him the tournament leader. Careful preparation. All right. Earlier we asked uh, Danny Weissman, 88-89, you were not too successful. What changes have you made? Well, um, first of all, uh, I uh, changed my arm swing, my uh, approach. Um, I had a little hesitation I had to get rid of, and um, I just watched a lot of films of uh, the bowlers, uh, like Marshall Holman, for ex instance, and um, I worked. I, I bowled 20, 30 games a day and worked very hard at it, and here I am today. Three in a row, fourth frame. Lisa on the left, his dad Albert on the right. That pair and all his fans are happy. A four bagger. More later. A standing room only crowd. They're especially cheering hard for local product Danny Weissman, who is the tournament leader and is bowling this man from the opposite coast. San Jose's Don Mosier. Carry. Okay. That double cuts Danny Weissman's lead to 32. 
Moser showing some experience that he picked up uh, last year in the championship round here. Very aggressive, not letting anything bother him, especially that missed two pin in the second frame. Can put some pressure on Weissman right here with a third consecutive strike in the fifth. I hit leaving the three six. Moser was somewhat worried about holding on to the ball all day long, and that one just slipped right off his hand. Never had the proper direction. A pretty good roll on it. Breaks up the split, leaves the 3 6 spare. If he converts here, he will be trailing by 34. Weissman, 5'9", 165 pounds from Baltimore, stormed through the final match play record of six and two. And look what he's done. The first three dropped the third and then stormed to the top. First three rounds, 18 games of qualifying. The last three rounds, 24 games of match play finals. He's still in the number one position. Five in a row. The non-winner, Danny Weissman. Oh, hometown fans and uh, support always helps. Sure as helps. I had it in St. Louis when I had mm -hmm. my last victory there, and Brian Voss had it down in the Florida area, and this young man has it in the Baltimore area. And Walt Steinzeck, who is one of the great bowling writers in the country, and Bob Cosgrove covering the action here, said they are really proud of this guy. They, uh, they feel like he is the man from the Baltimore, Washington area, oh. and he's surely proving it. Lisa may not make it through <laughs> this wipe. Oh, yeah. Now again, Lisa and Albert, his dad, cheering. We make the point at the halfway mark with six strikes, six more, $100,000 from True Value and from AC Delco, the 1990 Chevrolet Corvette. Mosier, spare up. Moser hitting light in the sixth frame, has the head pin go to the sideboard, and it comes back as a messenger, but doesn't get the 10 pin. And right now, without a couple of strikes, he'll just basically be a pacer. Watch the head pin. It'll go to the left sideboard. Six misses a 10. Comes that head pin around. Just barely misses knocking out the 10 pin. Danny Weissman, Don Moser's opponent. What pressure for him. First time ever on television. Well, Chris, he's got some examples to follow. Remember Bob Benoit, who rolled the last perfect game in the championship round in 1988 at the Quaker State? That was his first appearance. Then we had Robert Lawrence last week with nine in a row. That was his first appearance. So a little bit is an uncharted territory, and they're just really trying to work on their game. <laughs> Remember, Don Moser had a big game and defeating Pete Weber, 255 to 234. 